Mr. Dale back again to tell you a little bit more about the cello. First of all, I wanted to talk about the name cello. Cello has that CH sound at the beginning, but believe it or not, it's spelled C-E-L-L-O. There's no H in it at all. It's a common mistake that a lot of people make. So the cello is a member of the string family, just like the violin, which is the smallest member of the string family, the viola. The viola looks like a violin, but it's slightly larger and slightly lower in pitch. And then we have the third largest, the cello. After the cello, there's even one bigger, and you have to stand up to play that one. It's called the double bass. Because it's bigger, it's also lower sounding. So the cello is that middle range, like I talked about in that first video, where it has uh, the ability to play as high as the violin and as low as the bass. It's a pretty awesome instrument that way. Like the violin, the viola, the bass, it has four strings, and the names of the strings are actually the same as the strings on the viola, the A string, D string, G string, and the lowest one, the C string. And you can't see very well, but as they get lower, the strings get thicker. This is my highest string up here, the A string, and this is my lowest, thickest one down here, the C string. And as I pluck those strings, they vibrate. In fact, that lowest one, I can feel it vibrating against my chest. Some of the other parts that the cello has are in common with the violin, the viola, and the bass. We'll start up here with these things that stick out the sides. Those are called pegs, and those pegs are connected to the strings. And so if I tighten or loosen those pegs, it actually changes the pitch of the strings. You have to be careful. Guess what happens if I tighten it too much? Yeah, it snaps, it breaks. So usually we let the teachers or other adults do that for the first couple years. Moving down the instrument after our strings, this black part is the fingerboard. We call it that because it's a board that we put our fingers on. Moving down even further, all of the string instruments in this family have this bridge. This bridge is a really beautiful part of the instrument and it holds up the strings away from the instrument. Basically, you vibrate the strings by plucking it or bowing it and it vibrates the bridge, which vibrates the top of the instrument, which vibrates, there's a piece inside, and that piece vibrates the back, and so it all vibrates, and that's what creates the beautiful sound that comes out of these holes here. One part of the cello that's different from the violin and the viola is this part at the very bottom. I'll pick up my cello here. This spear-looking bayonet thing is actually called an end pin, and that end pin is adjustable. And so if I'm a shorter person, I can put my end pin way in. Or if I'm a taller person, I'll have to have the cello higher and I can pull it way out. So as you grow, you can adjust that end pin based on the height that you need. All right, so that end pin is very unique to the cello. What else is unique about the cello is the fact that you have to sit down to play it. Violin, viola, you can stand up to play it. Bass, you can stand up or sit on a stool. Cello, you, I guess you could technically play it standing up, but it's best and you'll see it 99.9% .9 of the time, people sitting down to play. So I wanted to show you this, this highest string up here. It's called the A string. But then as I add my fingers, I can make it go even higher than that. As you add fingers on your left hand, it changes the pitch. Or up here. Or up here. Or even higher. Or even higher. Right? You can hear how high that gets. It's crazy. Um, and then my lowest string, the, the C string, which is my favorite one, I used it a lot on that Star Wars example I played for you. Oh yeah, that's a good one right down there. Uh, so one of the things I love most about the cello is that range, being able to play really, really high stuff and also really, really low stuff. It's a beautiful instrument. Like I said, it kind of sounds like the human voice where you can make your voice really high or really low. And that range gives you the ability to play pretty much any song you can think of. It's nice and comfortable sitting down, and I think uh, it's the best instrument. So thank you for listening to this video.